setting up a four up in position. To get started, let's go into File, New, Document, in InDesign. Let's take off facing pages and put this at 0.25. Hit Enter. Let's go into the master page. We do not want to put this on our front page. So double click a master. Make sure it's highlighted just like that. Just like this. Make sure it's blue. That assures that you're on the master page. We need to divide the paper in half and then half again. Now, I'm not showing you these measurements because you know you should take a piece of paper out, fold it in half, fold it in half, and measure it. You can do that. Or you can use common sense or math or anything that you need to to get the section lines here. Now we need a quarter of an inch from the center. So I'm going to take the center and measure one quarter of an inch out. Now, if you're a new student to this and you're having a hard time with the math, check this out. I'll give you a cheat. Here's a rectangle. I can drag a rectangle out. And let's say I need to make a quarter of an inch gap here. Well, I could type in 0.25, use Alt wheel mouse to zoom in, and then I can drag this onto this line. Notice the line turns purple. That means it's snapped. Well, now I can take a ruler and drag this out until it snaps. This will give me a quarter inch margin. So, if you're new and you're having a hard time with measurement, this is a good way to start. Okay, once I'm done with this little piece of geometry, I can delete it. Next, we need to have some crop lines, okay, so crop marks. To do that, we use a line tool and hold shift. I'm going to put the crop tool right here, and I'm going to make it so it's not really touching the edge, but just very close. Now, these crop marks will be gone, so if you want, I guess a smarter way to do this is make them just a little bit in past the purple, because anything past the purple is technically going to be gone. So make them just a little bit in from the purple. You'll find that out as you go, depending upon how you're printing these. If you're printing them via offset, yes, you'll definitely have to put them on the inside just a little bit. If you're printing them using a laser printer, you can have them a little bit past here and it will work. How do you augment a line? Well, if you hold or go to the direct selection tool and click on it, I can now click and drag holding shift and I can move the line in. All right, now my master page is set up. So now I can go back to a master. Okay, notice nothing has changed. The one thing that has changed, however, is if I go to grab the black arrow, I cannot edit any of this stuff. It's on the master page. So if you made a mistake, you need to go back to the master page. You're now ready to use this template for four up in positioning. In other words, we have a product, a product, a product, a product, and we can easily go in here, drag a box out from here to here, make sure it has zero points, and then we can place our product here. Our product is going to be 4.25 by, oh wait, no, actually our product is going to be uh, 3.73 by 4.9 and we can edit this to be a more exact number if we need it but just know that it's in a ratio so you don't really have to do that as long as you make it within the ratio of like 5 to 3.75 
that's the size of your product for a four open positioning. All right, enjoy, and on to the next video.